What is up guys, Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world of War Thunder, this time taking the sky in the Mosquito. Yeah, a weird plane uh, for sure to take out, but you know what? I was looking for new ideas, looking for new things to fly. I didn't want to do another suggested video because I'm in the process of making some right now. And you know what? This this was an interesting plane. Uh, you know, that, you know what? I hadn't flown it out maybe once or twice. Uh, but other than that, it was completely stock. Uh, it still is. I think it has, like, the first upgrade, and that's about it. So, first things first about this plane. On most, most matches, you do get an air spawn. So, this plane is not slow. It climbs decently well, too. And so, with that air spawn, you can get up to 55, 5,000 meters uh, quite easily. And when you do that, I was kind of curious to see if you could use this thing as a fighter. Now, first things first, although I am facing stuff like the P-61 at higher altitude, you can see it's quite easy for him to turn in on me. Same thing with the P-47. Now, this thing is quite maneuverable, but it seems really that altitude seems to kill this thing quite bad. Uh, the engines still perform decently, but the maneuverability seems to greatly suffer. Now, it's don't get me wrong, it's no Spitfire down low either, um, but I do feel like it's just just a hair better. Uh, down below. So dogfighting with the P-47 ripped my flaps off. Now I have a damaged right wing, a damaged elevator, a damaged, well, pretty much everything. Right engine housing is pretty much toast, and I am engaging with two planes. P-47 comes across, tries to paint me red. Luckily enough, I dodge him for most of the shots. Right here, I'm turning my throttle to zero, hoping he overshoots. However, he's a fairly decent pilot. P-47 comes back under. And luckily enough for me, he decides to go do something else. That's a good P-47 pilot. The only thing I would have changed in his position is probably wouldn't have followed those maneuvers at all. I probably would have gone straight back up. There's nothing I can really do to compete with him. So P-47 turns back around. Now I'm kind of scared that he's going to come back down. Spitfire trying to engage. The Spitfire really has all of the advantages right here. So I don't really know what happens. Um, but yeah, you can see the P-47... <laughs> After using that much energy and having a Spitfire on him, he is going to go down quite quickly. Uh, now, P-47, take some shots at him, but like I said, a couple hits. Now, if you guys remember, it was probably like two months ago now, my P-47 video, that thing is an absolute tank. It is the flying tank of War Thunder. And as we can see right here, I am just putting shots and shots and shots and shots into this guy. And he just does not care at all. More shots. I don't even know how he's still flying. Now he has a coolant leak. Uh, yeah. The guy probably has more than 100 rounds in him. But P-47 doesn't care. P-47 is life. Now his wheels fly off somehow. He's still flying. P-47 goes up. Now I ping. Yeah, I'm blaming that one on ping. I pull straight up vertical. If I had flaps, that would have helped. And put a really, really nice shot into his elevator. Now you would think after putting hundreds of hundreds of rounds into his uh, tail and into his elevator and then critting his elevator like that you think he would be going down but like I said P47 does not care put some more shots into him although I am running out of 20 mils and there's the rest of my 7.7s so finally after what seems like forever the P47 is taken out yeah, sadly enough, that doesn't last long. I come and get shot down by a bunch of P-51s. So that doesn't really work. The plane's not that good of a fighter. Now, right here, you're kind of seeing it more of an interceptor role. It is ridiculously fast. It retains energy really, really well out of the dive. And as we can see, this LA-7, he is not going to last long. And unlike a P-47, he is not a tank. But you know what? Let's try to go bomber hunting. Maybe this thing's a good bomber hunter. Uh, put some shots out. My engines are not powerful enough to keep up with the climb, even with an air spawn. Uh, put some decent shots out. Sadly enough, no hits. And then the Yak-3s. Okay, so this thing is not a fighter. It's not a bomber hunter. It can be used decently well as an interceptor. The problem is interceptor planes are are quite hard to actually come by. In the, in the game, they're in a really weird place because... Well, you don't need to intercept planes that often. So let's try to go ground pounding. 
Of course, shoot the artillery with 420mm cannons and a bunch of machine guns. You're going to destroy soft targets. And that's really, really not a big surprise at all. Uh, so while you watch me do this, and before I wrap up the plane, I do want to apologize for being gone for so long. Uh, finals are coming up. I've had a ridiculous amount of tests today. I uh, Just today, Saturday, I've had the ACT, and then I went to work, and then I'm going back to work after I make this video. Uh, so, yeah, that's interesting. And then a bunch of tests earlier this weekend. Then I have finals, and after that, after that, I should be scot-free. So, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I will release probably a new video Sunday or Monday talking more about it. Uh, but let's get back to the video. Anyways, that's, that's why I've been gone. So as we can see, destroying ground targets, this is kind of where the problem comes in. It's great at it. The plane has powerful engines. It turns well. It has great armament. Uh, elevators are a little weird, uh, especially with negative G-forces. But, you know, that, that's really not too important in stuff like this. The problem is, is how horrendously boring it is. There's not... The 20 millimeters you can put ground ammunition in, and it does help. But the Hispanos are really not known for being able to take out pillboxes, light pillboxes. Now, if this thing had the German 30s like the ME410 does, absolutely different story. The ME410 can win games. This, not so much. Um, these are ammunition... Uh, actually, I don't think these are the ground target ammunition. Probably would have been a good idea to load those up. Uh, but going back and doing more testing, it really doesn't make a massive difference. So anyways, going back to this, this plane doesn't really have a specific role. Well, it did. It did in real life. The problem is it doesn't fit into the meta of War Thunder that well. Um, going back and playing through, you can really see that no matter where this plane goes... It's not really at home. Sure, it's, it's great at ground pounding like I'm doing right now. The problem is, is that's horrendously boring, at least for most people. Uh, it also doesn't offer a whole lot of RP unless you kill a bunch of tanks, which this really can't do. Uh, unless you go kill planes, which this thing really can't do. Um, you could go kill bombers, of course, but like I said, bombers, 5,000 meters. You're going to struggle a little bit to get there before they bomb out things, and then you're going to have to deal with their gunners, of course. And with a giant, massive target like this thing. It's not that fun all the time. Especially with 50 calipers, 23 millimeters. You're probably going to be shredded. Now, of course, trying to go for a light pillbox kill. That is not that easy to penetrate. Getting hits, hit markers, nothing though. Um, so that, that's, a little, that's a little crummy. Um... But going back in, I'm going to try it from a different angle, shooting at the very front of it. But that doesn't really seem to work either, as we're about to see. The problem is, like I said, is this plane had its role in real life, um, but not really in the game. The, the actual meta of, of how this game is played by, by its players is really, really handicapping to the plane. Now, if you guys didn't see... Um, War Thunder had this giant massive countdown. I think it still does, yeah. Uh, no one really knows what it's about, at least at the time of the making of this video. Now, if it is the World War that's been promised, or, okay, not really promised, but has been, you know, kind of hinted at and stuff, this, that might be a giant turning point because then you have tank forces and ground forces and all this other stuff, in which case this plane would actually have a role. Because it would, could play support, it could play ground. But instead, if you just go into a tank match, it's slightly better, don't get me wrong. Um, but tank matches really aren't my thing. Uh, especially in planes. Now, in tanks, it's a completely different story. But flying planes, better and air realistic. So, if the future upcoming thing is World War, it is going to be really, really, really cool. And I hope it is. Because, like I said, this, this would change the role of this plane. This plane would actually be useful. Because right now, uh, it's, don't get me wrong, it's fun. But there's just better planes to fly. For instance, instead of flying out six or seven matches in this, I could be flying out a Spitfire, having far more ground target, I'm sorry, air target kills. Um, instead, I'm not really helping the team right now. So it's better for the team, it's better for me to actually go out and fly a fighter. But with all of these attack planes in War Thunder, it's kind of a shame 
to see them not really have that much of a role in matches. Like I said, there's just there's better stuff to fly for players. And so, of course, why would why would you spend hours on this when you could spend hours something like a Typhoon or a Spitfire or something like that? So guys, yeah, that's really about it for this video. Like I said, just to recap, this plane is amazing. I love it, don't get me wrong, the engines are powerful, it has amazing guns, it's decent at maneuvering. The problem is, it's just, it doesn't really have a role. So guys, go ahead and let me know down below, what's your opinion on this plane? Do you like it? Do you fly it? Have you never even bought it? I mean, you probably should, just to grind up the line. Um, but just be careful what you expect when you go in. So guys, thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. We have been doing amazing with the subscribers as of late. I haven't posted a video in like a week, I think now, which I'm sorry about. But somehow views are still going up. So thank you guys for that. So guys, until then, fly fast, fly safe, and I'll see you guys next time.